It's uh, Benjamin Douglas Ray here with Thread Global. So on this show, we talk about sustainability. And it started about uh, you know a couple months ago. And we were talking about sustainable packaging. In fact, that's what we do here at Trade Global is we talk about sustainable packaging. You know, we work in glass, metal, tin, bioplastics, uh, paper. And the conversation just kind of evolved throughout the year. And as coronavirus came, we stopped hearing about sustainability. You know, things got back into kind of single use plastic. And, you know, the hope was that we would get back to these discussions about sustainability. So a couple months ago, uh, I started a, a meetup group. Uh, here's uh, where it is. And we got some really good comments on there and some good participation in terms of bringing the conversation back to sustainability. And through that, there have been some really, really good conversations, in-depth conversations on LinkedIn about sustainability and what that means, especially in packaging. And, you know, a lot of times you have kind of two opposite sides and those two sides can uh, argue, you know, with one another, like we've seen recently in politics. But in this situation, we seem to have a lot of people who want to get rid of waste. And on the other side, we have waste. So it's kind of a common enemy. But we do have a lot of barriers in here in terms of regulations. And that's one of the biggest problems here, especially up in Canada and cannabis with the big containers and the size of the canisters for the labeling that went around. So when we're working with customers, you know, we're really working on how to design a package that is as small as possible, yet it's big enough to get the label on there. So uh, over the over the past 10 years, we've done a lot of different types of packaging, but now it seems that a lot of customers are interested in sustainability. And what does that mean? What, what actually does sustainability mean? Now, if you look at Canada and now Mexico, really in the regulations, they call for child resistant and sustainable, although sustainable isn't necessarily defined. Uh, here in the United States, you know, we have so many jurisdictions, we have so many states and laws, and it's very, very confusing. But in those two countries where you have nationalized law, it's much easier to you know, stick with the regulations, although the definition is not yet there. So primarily when, when I think about sustainability, there, there are a number of different definitions, but when it comes to packaging, it's really about biodegradability or compostability because recycling will work, although in different areas, the recycling isn't picked up or it isn't segregated. You know, there are a lot of issues there. Um, but in, uh, in the LinkedIn over the past, month or so, I've done a couple posts here. And this one really is getting a lot of really good traction here. So what changes are you seeing in the cannabis industry that are being forced due to coronavirus, both, both positive and negative? And I asked people to comment below and I'm getting some really, really good, thoughtful, in-depth, insightful answers that we can all learn from. So I recommend that if you wanna be part of that conversation, Go on to my LinkedIn profile, join that conversation and get involved. It's it's a really great place to, to learn about companies that are trying to make a difference. Uh, the next one here, uh, here is, um, let's see. <laughs> All right, so this one here is, how important is sustainability in cannabis packaging? So once you open your product, do you just toss the package away? So that is a question that I think many times we all struggle with. You know, you see trash on the ground and that's another reason why I started these, these groups and these conversations was because I was tired of just seeing packaging trash, trash and waste on the ground. I would see it everywhere. In fact, I did a post where I went down to a park by my house and I counted 74 pieces of big trash, you know, trash that somebody just threw away. And we did talk about it in that, that meetup uh, group a couple of weeks ago. But in here, there are also some really good discussions and positive and negative. You know, I understand regulations, I understand labeling, but there's a desire for everyone to 
want to do something to reduce waste, especially in cannabis packaging. Now we have to have child resistive. And a lot of times that does mean that you have to have more involved packaging. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be more expensive or necessarily bigger, although traditionally that is what it has been. Here's another question that I've, I've posted is, does the cannabis industry care about sustainable packaging? Or do you even think consumers care? And there, there was a lot of great discussion and I'll call it healthy debate going on here about mm -hmm. this. And uh, there, there were some polarizing comments in here and it's very interesting. So I recommend that you get into those posts, read through the comments and speak your opinion. You know, all, all comments are welcomed in these discussions because the more that we can understand the concerns from one another, the more we can come to some to some solutions that would really uh, help with packaging waste. So this week is a great week. We've got a lot planned for the show. So as you know, every Tuesday at uh, 12 o'clock Eastern, I'm doing a LinkedIn Live here. And the show is really about sustainability. So I call it Sustainability Live. And it started with packaging, then it went into sustainability, then sustainable practices, and there, or uh, there's even living sustainably and probably a lot of other definitions. So the people that are on this show that have, I, I've invited on have something to do with sustainability and the definition is different to all people. So tomorrow on this show, so mark your calendars, be a, a great one, will be Tony Scullion. So he's in Dubai and uh, he's, a, he's a trainer and he's gonna be talking about sustainable nutrition and sustainable exercise. Uh, on Wednesday, I've got a guy named Chris Laping and he has a company called People Before Things. And he's going to talk about um, how to sustain your career as you rise up from kind of mid-level into senior management, uh, the C-level. Uh, then on Thursday, I've got uh, Sean from Elevate Cannabis, which would be a great discussion. We'll talk about sustainability in cannabis and also leadership in that discussion. And then on Friday, uh, I've got Ash from a company called Peak Mindful, and we will talk about sustainability in mindfulness. So a really great week planned, uh, really looking forward to what everyone has to say. And I, I recommend that you get into those comments of those posts and have your say. And I'm happy to talk to any of you. I respond to all the comments and I love that dialogue. So everyone have a good week and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.